should be driven. Hmm. I hope things have settled down in the last couple of days. Yeah. Everything is under control, isn't it, boys? Yeah. You're very quiet. So where did you disappear to the other day? I didn't disappear anywhere. I was working on farm. Are you really going to sell the farm? Well, I have no choice. You know how things have been over the past year. Selling up's the only way we'll make any money out of the place. Besides, I want us to make a fresh start. Doing what, though? Well, there's plenty of time to make plans when I get out of here. If, my like. Robert. Mind you, we have to be realistic. Uh, there's no guarantees that I'll be acquitted. You'll be fine. As long as you can prove you had an alibi for the time of the fire. And you have. Yeah, well. I'll go get some drinks. You can talk to the boys. <coughs> talk to us about what? What's going on? I had a word with my barrister the other day. She thinks I might need witnesses to back up my alibi. You mean us? I told her I didn't want you called, but now it might be necessary. Did they need both of us? I'm not doing it by myself. I, I can't remember much of it anyway. You don't have to worry, Andy. We've talked about it, haven't we? You know what to say. Anyway, you don't have to testify. If you don't want to, no one will force you. But if we don't, you'll go down. Is that what you're saying? Just think about it. Okay. Let's